Hey, what's going on friends? Special video from the warehouse today. And that's because we got a brand new tool. You can find this on Amazon. It's an electric hoist. So we're gonna lift some heavy stuff. So this is the three-in-one portable electric hoist. It's made by Beam Nova. And like I mentioned, you can purchase this right on Amazon. It's got some interesting features. It's got a good price point. Again, we'll put links in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. So what we're gonna do today is give it some testing, go over the features, basically give our review. The company did reach out to us. They sent us a sample so we could do some testing and give our review, but this is an unpaid review. So we'll go ahead and be as unbiased as we can. Now, as we're taking a closer look at the actual hoist, we're gonna be doing some demos as well to keep things interesting. We'll pick up some light stuff, some heavy stuff, some bulky stuff, and just get a general idea of use case scenarios for this specific hoist. As you can see, it comes with multiple pieces and accessories. We have the main hoist unit. It's got a large hook that obviously can be hooked to any device, maybe on the top of your garage or other area where you're looking to lift heavy objects. You have the main unit that's gonna be doing the heavy lifting, obviously. We have the plug-in where we can get all of our electricity from. And then we have the main large hook on the bottom. Now, obviously this is a little cover plate where the wire rope goes up into the unit. And so you have a little plate that kind of guards against your spring kind of going up into the unit there. But this hook has some heft to it and the main unit has some heft to it as well. Again, mainly because of that wire rope that is wrapped up inside. Now, as you can see, this is rated to 500 kilograms, which is roughly 1100 pounds. You can see the voltage as well as the product model. First way this is operated is using this manual controller or plug-in controller. You can see it can kind of go up and down here. And then this end plugs over into this side of the main unit. They also boast that within eight meters, you can also use this little remote control to operate the lift. Okay, so for our first test, we're gonna be using this wired controller. It sits in this general configuration for up and down. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. Let's move it up and down and see how quick the cable is, how smooth it runs. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the up button. So you can see how it engaged that lower kill switch to stop it with this plate so that the cable doesn't go too far up into the housing. It's a really great feature. Now, one thing I did notice is that it is a little bit loud. Don't expect this to be a smooth, quiet operator. All right, let's go down with it. Now, this does come with an instruction manual. You really do need to read this to make sure you have all the safety features. What I will say about this product, use utmost safety, friends, when you're doing these things, using heavy objects, lifting them off the ground, Okay, there are a couple things you need to think about when you are setting this up to lift. Now, basically you have the main hoist, right? You have the hook up top that's gonna need to be on some sort of a strap system that can support the weight you're looking to pull. Now, this is just a regular strap that's rated for a thousand pounds that we've wrapped around our beam. So again, that's the main break point you need to think about. Can that hold up to a thousand pounds? Can this strap hold a thousand pounds? Can this guy hold a thousand pounds? Again, it's rated to that 1100 pounds. And then finally, we have our cable that goes down here to our main hook. This is where we're gonna be wrapping around our heavy item. Now, you can put another strap on the bottom here, or what we're gonna do is actually just use the hook itself. We're gonna start here with this 15 pound weight again just to get an idea of how smooth the operation will be now one of the other things that does take a little bit of thinking is this electrical setup you can see the cable is fairly short it comes out of the main hoist and then you have to plug your extension cable into that so right now just for testing purposes you can see we have it dangling off to the side realistically you'd want to run this thing in some sort of capacity where it's up and out of the way of the hoist Okay, that's obviously a super light amount of weight, but as you can see, it operated very smoothly. There was really no slowing this cable down. Everything worked great. Let's go ahead and get a little more bulky now. Now this is a hitch mounted rack that goes in the back of a truck right on your hitch. It weighs roughly 40, 45 pounds. It's heavy, it's bulky. Let's go ahead and see how this hoist does with something like this. So there you go, not too bad. Now this thing does swing quite a bit. So again, be careful, make sure you're tying things down properly. 
using proper safety, especially with bulky weight that has a tendency to swing out. Again, no degradation in cable movement. Everything was smooth, nice and easy. Not too bad. Okay, for our final test for will it lift? Basically, we've got this engine block holder. This weighs obviously well over 100 pounds. It's got a ton of bulk, ton of swing, ton of weight. Now again, make sure if you're using a strap system that it's rated for this amount. This is actually rated for about 500 pounds, so we're well within our limits. I've hooked that around the lower hook. Oh yeah, easy peasy. And there you go. This thing is up and off the ground, ready to be moved around if we needed it to. Not too shabby. Now, again, we're not dealing with a ton of weight at this point, but what I can say is all these low level tests have gone really, really well. All right, well, there you go, friends. That is the three-in-one electric hoist by Beam Nova. It's both smooth and capable with all of our testing done under the 150 pound range. Please make sure you're using extra safety when you are using some of this machinery. Obviously, heavy weight can be very, very dangerous. Initial thumbs up. You can find this again on Amazon. We'll put links in the description box below. Check it out for yourself and let us know what you think. Hopefully this video has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Let's us know we're making good videos for you. Stay tuned. We got a bunch more tool testing videos coming up soon. Subscribe. We'll see you again on the next one.